hey guys so welcome back to my channel it's your girl gh kings i know it's been a moment <laughs> it's been a long time so recorded how are you guys doing happy christmas merry christmas happy happy holidays okay so today is december 26th i literally just went out came home i'm still looking fresh <laughs> you know my makeup is still intact so i was like let me record this video for you okay um so end of the year usually i do this during thanksgiving but this thanksgiving was very crazy i had a lot going on this thanksgiving so i wasn't able to record for you guys so my thanksgiving was good um so yeah let's start with what i'm grateful for this year so this year of course i'm grateful for god i thank him for still for him still be my father him still be my god my friend my best friend my everything uh, the holy spirit is my best friend and i cannot say that enough i keep telling people they think i'm crazy but the holy spirit is my best friend there is no other friend like the holy spirit okay my source of joy my source of happiness my source of everything even wealth everything is from him and he keeps my secrets yo he keeps my secret like nobody is perfect the man knows me yet i go to him cry to him and we good okay we good so i thank god yeah jesus of course and the holy spirit i thank my family i thank my friends you know i don't have that much friends i don't have that much friends if you guys know i'm an introvert i just have few people as friends i like to have a small circle because i, I I'm, I'm a lady but i know a lot of a, a lot of friends comes with like what you call it arguments and all this drama and i am i am not dramatic at all I don't want drama like i don't want drama in my life yo so that's the reason why um so what else am i thankful for obviously i'm thankful for my job so i started my job um towards the end of 2021 i literally started the job like around the beginning of december 2021 so literally this year 2022 marked the a year that i have been working with this hospital and i'm so grateful for to god for that i have learned so much there is still room for improvement there's still stuff that i need i need to learn and can learn there is no way a nurse knows everybody and uh, knows everything okay nursing is just a gradual thing like you learn each day you know you learn each day so i'm grateful to god for what i know um for everything that he has done for me um i'm so grateful like um so literally this is i can say this is the first year that i've literally accomplished I, I actually accomplished every single thing that I set for myself or the goals that I set for myself This was the year that I was able to fulfill every like every single one of them Like it's the glory of God. Okay. It's the glory of God. Like I remember About four or five years ago. I attended um, a service and the minister that was preaching was like if you are fasted If you are afraid you live a, you are living a righteous life. You are living a holy life You're doing things that makes God happy and you are asking god for one or two things and god hasn't answered you just need to chill relax maybe it's not the right timing and that's one thing that i was practicing this year i was like god i've asked you for this i've asked you for that but certain things is like every year's on my list but you know what i within myself i believe i'm living the life that i'm supposed to i know i can read my bible more i know i can pray more i know i can attend more services but god you know i'm genuine with everything that i'm doing so i lay it down to you and ba 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 like god just answered me just just like that I, I like i'm still surprised i'm still shocked you know and i'm really grateful to him um so yeah that that's basically me this year this year has been so busy it was so busy but i know next year i can do better and i i remember telling you guys every year god has a word for me and it's very important that every year before the end of the year you guys speak to god asking god what do you have in store for me in the upcoming year you don't want to start the year without knowing your sense of direction like once december hey you need to start every november start asking god, god what is it that you have for me in this coming year you need to start asking god that because once you start asking god you can start planning ahead you don't have to start the year before you start planning you can start planning ahead and once the year start you've already started living your life like i said like personally i keep asking god what is your word for my life for this the coming year what do you have in store for me this coming year what do you want me to do with my life this coming year and usually i i am an F mfm member Mount of fire miracle ministries okay so i go to mfm and usually our general oversee the 31st night he always give us um our general 
theme for the year you know our general prophecy our general word from god for the year and whatever god tells me that is my i compare to what the man of god says i'm like okay and then whatever that is not in what god said ab about me generally i try to add it to it okay um like this year our, our thing was becoming the divine spectacle you know and i'm like god has got like god did it god did it for me he did it for me i, I can't wait for <laughs> what he has in store for us next year i know what god has in store for me 2023 but i want to hear the prophecy that god has in store for us in general as mfm members you know and just align that with the theme that god has given me personally and just fulfill destiny so i'm i'm so looking forward to 31st night i can't wait 31st night is a bomb okay that's the reason why i always wear christmas because I wear Christmas and I get 31st night off, so I can't, I can't just go to church because there is no way I'm spending 31st night at work, okay? So, yeah, I'm grateful to God. So, yeah, this coming year, 2023, I know for sure I need to get myself a car. Yo, I was torn between Toyota, I was thinking Toyota RAV4 or like a Jeep Wangla or like there's another Jeep that I like, but I know I love Jeep. But Toyota is like, ah, I guess Toyota is good. It's a good car. You know, you have a lot of space, you know, because I'm planning on moving from New York City too. So I was like, but like, I was talking to myself, I'm like, do I really want to settle for a Toyota or go for my dream Jeep? Because I have down payment and everything. I'm like, nah, at this point, I'm going for my dream car. I'm getting myself a Jeep. I don't know the kind of Jeep, but y'all yeah, will see when the car arrives. But I know I'm saying I'm going to get a car, but I'm not getting the car as I'm leaving in this apartment because I'm I'm still gonna be living here for most of 2023. But the thing is, when I get a when I get a car where I'm currently at, I'm gonna have to pay like $300 for parking because we have like I, I live in a Jewish neighborhood and we have like parking meters like every damn little corner there's parking meters there and the garage for me to park is like three hundred dollars i'm not paying three hundred dollars to park a car when my rent alone is like literally 2k like i'm not that rich yet <laughs> okay so that's like the one of the main reasons why i'm not getting a car as i'm living here so my job is literally like two hours from my house so i literally like it's 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 draining i work 12 and a half hours and then two hours to go to work two hours to come back it's like my whole day is gone by the time i come back home my whole if i'm working that whole day is gone it's, it's gone that's the re main reason why i need to move out to the city and also i'll be living in brooklyn let me not say new york city i've been living in brooklyn for literally 15 good years <laughs> okay 15 good years i have been living in brooklyn so i need to move out of brooklyn i need to move out of the city and like personally i like suburb suburban areas as compared to um urban areas so that's another thing like i like my nice quiet you know quietness and stuff like that so that's the thing apart from my job i just like quiet that's why i moved to this neighborhood this neighborhood is actually very quiet it's very calm and all that but it's just too far from my job and there is a hospital right next to me you know i work for the city and there's a city hospital right next to me but i don't want to i don't want to transfer because i'm like i love where i'm at right now i love where i'm at i don't know what relationship i'm gonna have with like these people that brings me to like me wanting change and stuff i'm not the type of person that just wants change just like that no i must have a reason so that's the reason why i'm moving i'm moving to a place where it's like not more than half an hour drive or taking the bus to work that's why i'm gonna get a car so i'm gonna get a car when i finally move to where wherever i'm going so when i finally settle in and i know there's public transportation i know wherever i want to live there will be a train I'm, i might have to walk to the train station but there will still be a train because i don't want to rely on the um rely on the car because it might not be every time that i want to drive sometimes i don't want to drive because i'm a nightmare sometimes if i'm tired if i'm doing like 39th street i'm not gonna drive i'm so i'm gonna take public transportation because i know myself i'm gonna sleep okay i sleep on the damn train <laughs> okay so, i know myself so definitely once i move i'm gonna get a car so yeah i already know i'm moving from new york city 2023 i'm moving i'm still gonna be in new york but not in the city i'm moving from new york city 2023 it will be towards the end of 2023 though so i'm still gonna be here if, it, if i think in the summer i'm still I'll, I'll probably move during the summer so yeah i'm gonna be here for more than half of the year 2023 but i'm moving and yeah i'm getting myself a car i have my down payment everything ready once i move i'm gonna go get my jeep my brand new jeep i don't know what i'm gonna get yet but i know i want that um grayish um blue color 
of, of, a, of a car that's the color that i'm going for if not i don't mind gray whatever <laughs> but yeah that's that's the thing that i'm doing um what else in terms of career i don't know i think i might start doing ot's at my workplace i might start doing over time so i can pay off my you know i have a lot of student debts okay so i can pay my student debts as fast as possible and you know because i'm getting a car i have to pay insurance and all that so i can pay that too as fast as possible and what else am i doing this for of course obviously save save i have to save a lot next year and um other goals that i have for myself work hard work smart you know start like my business like my online business try to do advertisements more advertisement get like um youtubers involved and all that that like i think that's what i want to do because i feel like it's time for divine care naturals to pew, you know be great so that's what i'm gonna do next year just try to do advertisements next year and um um in terms of my work with god like you guys know if you guys don't, don't know i'm an evangelist okay i like to I like to share the word of God to people. I like to win souls for Christ. I feel like I even enjoy doing that. It's not feel. I know I like, I love doing that more than working as a nurse. Okay. But like the thing is last year, I think since COVID, I stopped. I have a particular spot. If, if you guys are look, looking for me, I'm for this second street in Manhattan. I have a spot in the train station where I stand and evangelize. <laughs> I need to resume that. I need to resume that. But the thing is, I don't have a set work schedule. But now that I have been there for a year, I feel like my schedule is becoming fixed as the time goes by. So I'm going to resume evangelism. I'm going to be there once a week. I'm going to evangelize once a week uh, for the scan street in my heart. And you guys, if you're in New York City, you might see your baby girl. You can say hi, okay? <laughs> so I'll be at the train station evangelizing. Um, I usually give tracks, church tracks. That doesn't mean you have to become an NFL member, okay? That's just the tracks that i have okay and the trucks that i'm aware of usually i tell people i evangelize to you what is important to me is that you give your life to christ you can go to a local church you want to go to mfm you can come there are, you know but you don't have to come to mfm okay <laughs> you don't have to so yeah that's the thing um so yeah that's one of the main things that i'm looking forward to 2023 evangelizing like i can't wait i love to evangelize and i can't wait um new environment like i said um moving getting myself a car a new hope a whole new place like and also um this year i started traveling you know but locally traveling and i feel like next and i you guys already know i got myself a a doggy so next year it's a car and more traveling maybe traveling out of the country out of out of the country i don't even know where i'm going in self for but i think you know what i feel like next year i should stay within the u.s let me stay within the u.s first let me travel i will try to see if i can travel to maybe uh maybe like six states or seven states in the year i think that's possible yeah yeah i'll try to see how many states that can visit as, as much as, as um, possible that's some states i've already been to that i might go again like washington because i really want to go to washington i really want to go to washington over again because i went there but then like um what i went there for i didn't fully get the package <laughs> you understand so i need to revisit dc and get a full package <laughs> of what i want to you know um yeah basically so i'm excited about next year like literally this is this is just it for next year moving evangelizing getting myself a brand new car i'm excited and then like saving more obviously saving more um when it comes and my relationship with christ and i'm gonna create more content about christ-like relationships here on on my youtube channel because i feel like that's where i i'm leading towards because now i don't really braid my hair that much and if i like now my hair is twisted and i have this wig on okay when i'm going to work it's just the twist when i'm going out and stuff i just wear wigs because i'm in a stage where i'm trying to grow my hair and i started early this year and i haven't been using no conditioner like leaving deep conditioner i mean i haven't been doing deep conditioner just use living conditioner i'm sticking with one product for i want to say two years and see how um the changes that occurs in my hair then i can finally come to you guys and talk to you guys about but once once in a while i'll be posting hair videos and stuff but don't don't come and be like gh kings where's the videos you know that's what i'm saying but i'm i'm gonna do more christ-like videos since my goal next year is is to win souls for christ my goal next year is just to just win as much souls that i can as i can for christ you know so that's my goal for next year and yeah that's what i wanna i want to also do that online here so um 
so yeah guys that's that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah that's my goal for 2023 um i'm very happy um i can't wait for our general go as mfm members do i will share with you you just wait okay i will share with you guys i mean the first night is coming i'll be it's next week I'm, I'm so excited yeah i got no how i get on 31st night okay so yeah i love you all and as always god loves you more happy holidays merry christmas sorry guys yesterday was christmas i did not record i was at work it was my weekend's work so today i came slept woke up <laughs> went out <laughs> came back and i'm like let me record this video i love you as always god loves you more and happy holidays be safe okay be safe be safe be safe see you guys in 2023 i love you all i love you all bye and of course god even loves you more <laughs>